Firefly, hello Firefly, this is Fred Aries, Leo Sagittarius, this is Fred Aries, Leo Sagittarius, for those of you who are not an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, please check the chart to make sure that you are, if not, if you're interested in a fire sign, then welcome to my cross watchers as well, um, I'm hearing that a lot of air signs need to be told, I love you, and I really care about you, I'm hearing that's what a lot of air signs uh, wanting to tell fire signs you could be possibly dealing with a fire sign or a air sign you might be dealing with a libra gemini aquarius it is aquarius season so a lot of my fire signs will be dating them but i'm hearing that a lot of my fire signs need to be told they are loved right now and that they are really cared about let's see you have full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. So a lot of my fire signs could be dating a Gemini or have Gemini in their charts or either just got done dating a Gemini or have a close relationship with a Gemini or even entanglement. You know how you fire signs are. So you could have a situation with a Gemini or have Gemini in your charts, but the universe is pretty much telling you to embrace the flow of life like it's new things coming i'm hearing a lot of my fire signs have changed in a lot of different ways and have a lot of different things coming into their life and flowing in and out and they're telling you to embrace that change um you have full moon in aries cool your emotions so a lot of my fire signs this is aries energy so you could be an aries or possibly dating an aries aries on aries Ooh, i don't know about that but they say y'all are really compatible because they say y'all can understand each other so maybe it might be a possibility but <laughs> i just don't see aries on aries but anyway they're telling you to cool your emotions this is aries energy i need a lot of fire signs to cool down i'm hearing you're really tensed up right now so you have full moon in Taurus detoxify. So a lot of you could have Taurus in your charts or be dealing with the Taurus. This is earth energy. So a lot of you need to detoxify. I'm hearing a lot of smoking or drinking or, you know, just using recreational use. And there's nothing wrong with that. But maybe a lot of fire signs need to tone it down. And maybe it's having an effect on your emotions because this Aries energy is telling you to cool your emotions. You have full moon in Libra find a new balance so a lot of my fire signs could be dealing with a libra which is pretty common because libra is common with most fire signs especially a sagittarius or aries so they're telling you to find a balance you could be dating a libra or possibly have libra in your charts but it's time to clear aries I, everyone loves you aries Libra, Leo, you are needed. Maybe it's a Libra that you're dealing with because I wanted to say Libra. Leo, you are needed. Sagittarius, you are wanted because that's what I'm hearing that you need to hear. You are wanted. It's time to find a balance in work and love for a lot of my fire signs. You also have last quarter moon in Aquarius. Reflect on your priorities. This is Aquarius energy. It is Aquarius season. So you could possibly be dealing with an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your charts. But they're telling you to reflect on your priorities. I'm hearing a lot of my fire signs need to reflect on their priorities, especially Leo's. And they could be talking to Aries too because Aries energy popped up. But a lot of you need to reflect on your priorities and find a balance. And just enjoy the flow of life right now. Gemini energy. You could be definitely dealing with the Gemini. Let's pull some more Moonology just to see what's going on. I'm going to pull some Oracle energies next. Let's see. I'm hearing a lot of my fire signs are feeling unappreciated. Why is that? Is it because of an air sign? Let's see. You have last quarter moon in Gemini. Clear your mind. So a lot of you air fire signs could definitely be dealing with the Gemini or possibly have Gemini in your charts because you had clear your mind pop up. So I have a lot of fire signs. I'm feeling Sagittarius and, and Aries really need to clear their mind. And it's funny that I say that because you have last quarter moon in Sagittarius believing your good luck. 
So this is Sagittarius energy. So this could be talking to you, Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a Sag or have Sag in your charts. But they're telling you to believe in your good luck, especially my Aries is in Sagittarius. Y'all have a lot of good luck. Don't get me wrong, Leos do too. But me personally, I've known Aries is in Sagittarius to have really good luck. Leos are more of a fight for fighter. They're a fighter. They're going to get what they want too, but in a different way. Aries is fight too, trust me. <laughs> so you have full moon in Scorpio, breathe through the tension. So a lot of you could be dealing with a water sign, a Scorpio, or possibly have Scorpio in your charts. But I'm hearing a lot of my fire signs need to breathe through a situation and clear your mind. Please, you are love. You have new moon in Leo. This is Leo energy shine. Get to the top. You're almost there, fire sign. You don't have far. This is Leo energy, so you could be a Leo or also have Leo in your charts or dating a Leo or both. Ooh, Leo on Leo, lion on lion. Ooh, it's, a good, it's actually a good combination as well because I'm told that you bond well and you understand each other, but it's very territorial and very... <laughs> It's just too much testosterone energy for me in one. <laughs> so you have new, new moon and Scorpio go deeper. So that's the second Scorpio energy to pop up. So you definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your charts. Fire signs. You need to go deep within yourself and clear your mind. Breathe. I'm hearing Wusa. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. I just did it with you. Whew. I know that was fast, but <laughs> oh, whatever. I just go deep, please, by your sign. It's time to clear your mind. I'm hearing a lot of you are upset with some air or some other fire signs for playing you and hurting you. Trust me, they're receiving their karma. Forever letting you go. Trust me. You are loved. I'm hearing a lot of fire signs. Really need to hear that right now. Let's pull some energies. Let's see what's going on around my fire signs. Leo, Sag, Aries. For the second week of February. What is going on for them? So you have the world in reverse. So a lot of you are feeling like you are against the world. I'm hearing Aries and Leos are feeling like everybody is against them. Everybody's not against you. You just feel that way. They told you to clear your mind. Please clear your mind, fire signs. Nobody's against you. Trust me. Trust me. Nobody's against you. It's in your head. You have all tied up. So a lot of you have just removed yourself from a situation where you felt stuck. A lot of my fire signs, I'm hearing possibly Sagittarius and Aries, maybe Leo's too, but mainly those two have removed themselves from situations from based off of other readings that I've done. Yes, y'all have decided to walk away. And guess what? Walking away was a good decision because adjacent possibilities facing forward popped up. So a lot of my fire signs have either just started new relationships, started new jobs, moved, or all three. But it's a lot of doors opening for you because you walked away from a situation where you felt stuck. And don't, you know, I know it's hard sometimes, but the, the community isn't working in a lot of fire signs favors. Like, you had that in reverse. So that means... Eh, some people talking badly about you, fire sign, but it's okay because you're still going to come out on top. You're still going to come out on top. While all these people are bad-mouthing Aries and bad-mouthing Leo and looking down on Sag, oh, y'all are all about to come out on top.